Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. Mazinam Dikano has instructed that all Biafrans globally should sit at home on the 30th day of May 2021. And because of it's a Sunday, he has also shifted that uh, let it be a two-day thing, 30th and partly observe on 30th. But 31st, everyone should be sitting at home, especially those in the southeast but globally it's an instruction that has been given and it has generated a lot of controversy if you look at our feed you're going to see um a news in that respect where the emo state government have rebuked them and said everyone can go about their normal businesses but guess what another very renowned strong renowned um Igbo group has come up to support it and you're going to hear what they have to say about that. It's quite a significant day, I tell you, based on what they have said about it. And all but yet, we're still having a lot of drawbacks coming from other southeastern states. And right now, another state have issued a warning that everyone can go about their normal businesses. That is not important. And I am really shocked about that. But however, let's look at what this group, this renowned group, have to say about that instruction by Mazinam Dikano that everyone, the uh, Biafran should sit at home. Let's get to hear from them also their own version of uh, the story. According to the news, the Alaibo Development Foundation has backed the indigenous people of Biafra on the sit at home order, saying that May 30th has become an official Igbo Remembrance Day, not only within Alaibo, but throughout the entire world where Igbo citizens live. Speaking in a statement by the president of the foundation, Professor Uzodim Mwala, and the chairman, ADF Media and Publicity Bureau Chief Abia Onike, on Friday said, May 30th is a day in the history of a libel that is deeply rooted in the hearts of our people and in which no one can wish away or ban by force or prevent by force of arms. ADF said May 13 marked the day Biafra was declared in 1967, noting that no patriotic Ibu son or daughter could pretend that Biafra was not part of the history and the major watershed in the history of Ibu nation. And the statement read does that event in Alaibo on May 30 each year shows that May 30 has become an official Igbo Remembrance Day, not only within Alaibo, but throughout the entire world where Igbo citizens live. Each year from London to Johannesburg to several cities in Europe, Asia, America, and Canada, the story is the same with various activities organized by the Omo Igbo and their friends to mark the occasion. Back home, the entire Alaibo have often been shut down, market shop, schools and offices closed while streets are deserted to mark the remembrance day the libel development foundation is fully aware that may 30th is a day in the history of a libel deeply rooted in the hearts of our people and which nobody can wish away it is in the light of this that a libel development foundation has fully supported observance of may 30th this year as Igbo day celebration we urge all Igbos all Igbo patriotics to celebrate this year event on Sunday, 30th May 2021. Let the Igbo celebrate it as a solemn occasion by going to church, wearing of black bands and fasting, including peaceful activities lined out for the day by different Igbo organizations. May 30th marked the day Biafran was declared in 1967. And no patriotic Igbo son or daughter can pretend that Igbo is not a part of their history and indeed the major watershed in the history of the Igbo nation. If anyone is in doubt, let him recall what has often happened on May 30th, especially in 2017 and 2018 when our sons and daughters under the ages of Ipo Masop and other pan Igbo organizations declare a sit at home to commemorate Biafra Day as a historic day in the history of Ndibos, which other forms of memorial activities take place to mark the historic day. The total compliance of that call throughout the length and breadth of a libel was not because these pan Igbo and pro Biafra organization has become their supreme authority. No, that call evoke 
intense yearning in the innermost recesses of the hearts and mind of Omoibu. Consequently, whosoever provoked the observance is welcome as a lover of the Igbo nation. Biafra evoke intense longing for freedom for our people. Biafra is indeed more than a state of the mind. It is also a material force that moves our people. Why will Biafra not be in their mind? Why will Biafra not symbolize their longing for freedom? When their predicament sings the amalgamation in 1914 up to the Biafran Declaration of May 30, 1967, and even since Biafra has been a continuous state of estrangement, brutal activities, and punitive measures against their spiritual, economic, political, and physical survival, the Alaibo Development Foundation therefore proposed that Omoibo should turn May 30th every year to ob observe as a remembrance day, a day to remember our history, to review our successes and failures, to remember those who have died fighting for the evil cause, and also things of our future. The indigenous people of Biafra has declared May 30th a sit at home day. Wow, 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 wow. Now, if you look at this, they have thrown more light on it. But don't also forget that uh, Biafra, sorry, Abia State, the police command in Abia State had also um, called on citizens and residents in the state to ignore any other by a Biafra secessionist group. Uh, that's by IPOP to sit at home that for them it makes no sense. And they, in the statement which uh, they, they was released, they urged the public to go about their normal businesses without any fear of harassment. And they also for advice parents and guardians to warn their children and what to stay away from are capable of causing breach of security in the state. That was what uh, Abia State also had to say. But looking at what ADF, you know, had said, it, it touches the mind a great deal, which um, clearly shows that that thing, that word Biafra, cannot be exterminated out from the heart of any Igbo person because it, it, it brings back memory of those who had fought, heroes and heroines who had fought, you know, for the um, success of the Ndibo. So there's no way you can exterminate it. Uh, you understand? For me, I just feel that it should be a dead set aside because even the Yorubas have their own. It's quite a significant day which all the, uh, you know, Ndibos must take into consideration. I mean, looking at the whole thing, I don't think it should be something that should cause uh, fight and all of that. It's something that everyone should look at it and... Uh, um, begin to look at their lives also and begin to say, are we living in sync with those lives that we lost during, you know, that period of uh, war and all of that? So, I, I, well, the government said they do not want it to happen, you know, be a state, emo state and all of that. But then looking at the cultural or historical uh, historical data of the Ndibos, this still mark, no matter how you will do it, it's still quite a, a, a day to be remembered, a day that cannot be forgotten in a hurry by the Ndibos. But however, I am hopeful that it will be well managed, you understand, because um, looking at the train of events now, it's as if it, we are in a battlefield. But let's just see what will happen on that day. But from all indication, percentage of people who are yearning to observe that day seems to be increasing, you know, and everyone like, hey, man, I'm going to observe it and all. But well, let's wait to see how it will look like on the 30th day of May 2021. Please go to our comment section. What is your stake also? Or what do you have to say about that day of remembrance if you are in Debo? 